Hi friends! Charity here with some simple tips to help you adapt your simply loved elementary lesson this week. This lesson is called Jesus Talks with a Samaritan Woman. And the Bible point is Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Follow along in your leader guide and let's work our way through the lesson together. I'll give some tips for creating video lessons and ideas for adapting the activities for smaller, physically distanced groups of children at church or in a home church setting. As always, for more general details about how to adapt all Simply Loved lessons for different scenarios, be sure to check out the video adaptations tip video and our distancing health and safety tips video too. Let's start with opening options. If you are creating video lessons for home use, the opening option supplies may not be as readily available in homes, but that's okay. Simply skip opening options for video lessons or deliver enough Chanel wires, paper plates, and construction paper for families to use for the whole unit. This week though, families could make masks out of paper, paper towels, or paper plates, whatever they have available. If you're adapting these lessons for church or home churches, you could choose pipe cleaner surprise and add Chanel wires to supply boxes or paper plate masks and add paper plates, construction paper, scissors and glue sticks to each child's supply box or bag. Take a look at your supply levels and choose what works best for you. On to sing and play. For video lessons, your playlist will look like this. Simply Loved strategically alternates the same songs throughout each quarter. So, by the time you get to this last week, they'll be belting out the words as they praise Jesus. <laughs> Let the people rejoice. If you're leading sing and play in person, you'll need to adapt the Bible verse motions this unit just a bit. Rather than giving a friend's shoulder a little squeeze, have kids give themselves a little hug. It'll look like this. So now I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other. Just as I have loved you, you should love each other. On to Bible discovery. Let's talk video lessons first. For heart of the matter, you won't be able to see what viewers are wearing. So, pick whatever color you'd like. Realizing that everyone in the room will still hear you, you can still try to talk sweetly and extra warmly with those wearing that color. Maybe even invite them to have the best, most comfy seat in the room. Only direct that chit chat to them and ignore the others who may be watching. Then debrief as written. Then experience the Bible story as written. Yippee! <laughs> now, let's talk about leading Bible discovery in person. Choose your color, let's say green. Treat kids wearing green with extra kindness. Now don't have them gather together or come forward, but specifically move toward them and give a foot five or comment on how glad you are to see them specifically. Basically, make it seem like you're playing favorites. Then debrief as written. No more tweaks for the rest of the Bible story. For now, simply skip the high fives at the end. On to apply it options. For video lessons, go with the game and have families choose a soft object to toss. <laughs> we don't want any broken lamps or windows. For in-person gatherings though, I'd suggest explore more. Be sure to add an adhesive name tag and markers to each child's supply box. For friendship finale, give stickers, read the take it home flyers and have fun. If you are in person, be sure to place those Bible Memory Buddy stickers and take it home flyers in kids' individual supply boxes ahead of time. But give kids clear directions for when it's time to use them. Friends, Jesus loves everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Remember, 
You and the kids you lead are simply loved. Thanks for helping them experience God's greatest gift, Jesus. We're